says that it expects 98% of its customers to have power by Wednesday. This update comes at a time when Governor Greg Abbott says he is 100% dedicated to holding the company accountable for what he called failures in getting the power back on for Houstonians. And today, Center Point countered the governor's news conference at NRG by making a company vice president available for interviews. And we sent KPRC to investigates Mario Diaz, who joins us now from Sam Houston Race Park. And Mario, this has been one of their key staging areas. And Daniela, it has been, in fact, part of the ongoing process to help restore power to Houstonians, or as we are now more than one week removed from Hurricane Barrel. You talk about the restoration effort that's going on right now, and you selected this location because you wanted to showcase these trucks. To the person at home that doesn't have electricity, they're saying, why are these trucks parked in this parking lot? So uh, we can look. These specific trucks right here are all the uh, resources that we come in that are uh, deployable. The thing that we have to keep in mind are the bucket trucks are the ones that are working on the wires. What we have behind us is some of the heavy equipment. I see a bucket truck right over there, sir on the other side of the semi. Center point making themselves today. available today to KPRC to investigates for tough questions that many of you have been asking. They're your customers. Are they going to pay for this? The Q&A coming with Vice President Brad Tatungin. 24 hours after Governor Greg Abbott said that Centerpoint's performance post barrel has been completely unacceptable. The governor set a strict deadline of July 31st. Will Centerpoint meet the governor's deadline? So what I can tell you right now is that we're committed to do everything that we can, but our focus is a restoration point uh, point right now to make sure we get our customers on. But some of the restorations are temporary fixes, go? not permanent ones, according to Tatunjin, who admits the company is logging them, but also made another interesting revelation. We have those notated, and then we do come back immediately after our storm response and try to address those issues. You indicated they're noted and try to address those issues. First off, do we know how many are noted? And for Houstonians out there that say, we don't want to try in the response, we need it done. Why are you st stating try to fix the issues, well, knowing what's going on right now? Let me clarify. When I say try, it's a matter of what we're doing during the restoration effort. Now, Tatungin says that this is the standard process with repairs, adding that they are committed to ongoing repairs. Coming up at six o'clock, we're gonna have more on these repairs as well as who's paying for them. Those answers in just about an hour from now. Live in Northwest Harris County, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 investigates. Mario, thank you for getting those answers to us and to the viewers. Will new at five o'clock.